Hey y'all, welcome back to the Guide Piper. Today I'm going to try to spell three of the longest words in the English language. They're all famous in this regard. The first is anti-disestablishmentarianism, which was a political movement involving the Church of England in the late 1800s. It has 28 letters and 12 syllables. A-N-T-I-D-I-S-E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H-M-E-N-T-A-R-I-A-N-I-S-M. The second one I, I know you've heard of, it's supercalifragilistic expialidocious, expialidocious, which was Mary Poppins' way of saying awesome. This one has 34 letters and 14 syllables. S-U-P-E-R-C-A-L-I-F-R-A-G-I-L-I-S-T-I-C E-X-P-I-A-L-I-D-O-C-I-O-U-S And now the longest word I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's called Pneumono Ultramicroscopic Silicovolcano Coniosis, which was supposedly a lung disease that affected miners a, a while ago, but others have disputed that. So uh, I don't know. You'll have to look that up. But this one actually has 45 letters and 19 syllables. Here we go. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis. P N E U M O N O U L T R A M I C R O S C O P I C S I L I C O V O L C A N O C O N I O S I S. I believe that covers it. So there you have it, three of the longest words in the English language. Anti-disestablishmentarianism, supercalifragilistic expialidocious, and pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis. Try them out. Work on your pronunciation, memory, and spelling skills at the same time. Have fun. Spelling is fun. Good Piper. Guide Piper. To y'all.